We blew up everything in sight, everything we possibly could on as grand a scale as possible. We blew up a real building, leveled it to the ground. Uh, we flipped an 18 wheeler truck in the middle of downtown Chicago. Uh, we really tried to try to push it as far as we could. Let's not forget the incredibly dangerous stunts. Going up the Sears Tower was was, was me, um, but then I have a phenomenal stunt that will be jumping off of five-story buildings and landing on cars and doing that kind of a thing. I'm happy to let him do that. Pretty much every single movie you come away with bruises of some kind, uh, you're never able to identify where the hell they came from. Because Christian Bale did all of his own fighting, Batman's old restrictive bat suit was revamped. Chris and myself had really requested that we be able to move. You had to fight against the suit all the time for the for the kind of method of style, the style of fighting that we were using. This one was compatible with it, and so I, I could find I could just keep doing take after take after take. It's much more based on what this would need to be in the real world if Batman really existed. Now that's more like it, Mr. Wayne. All right, now let's journey back to New York and check in with Claudia DeFalco, who's standing by at film's red carpet premiere. Claudia. Hey, Zoriana, I'm standing here with Christian Bale, the star of The Dark Knight. Thank you so much for talking to us. Are you as excited as we are for this movie? Yeah, of course I'm excited. You know, we work very hard on it. It's a great filmmaker, Chris Nolan. He's done a wonderful job with this. I think we far exceeded what we did with the first movie. And I hope people will embrace it, you know? I mean, of course, there's a lot of hype, but I uh, hope it lives up to their expectations. I did a story on the people who trained with you, the Casey duo, yeah. and Paul Jennings. They had nothing but wonderful things to say about you. They said that you all always came prepared, you knew all the moves, you ended up knowing even more than they did. How much did he add to this role? Uh, very much, you know, because uh, Casey is a fantastic fighting method. It's very, very violent. We have to tone it down, uh, you know, uh, to uh, make the movie uh, releasable. Uh, Casey is uh, nothing to do with any kind of zen-like sort of uh, calm that you create. It's all about going berserk, it's about using your adrenaline, and, uh, you know, it's about ripping people's cheeks off and ripping their eyes out and their noses. So obviously Batman doesn't do that, he doesn't kill. So we toned it down, but it's, it's very, very useful because it's a very unusual fighting style that people aren't used to seeing. Welcome back to our big movie special on The Dark Knight. I'm Zoriana Kidd, coming to you from Hotel 71 in Chicago. Now, Christian Bale is no stranger to the Windy City. Having shot Batman Begins here as well. Bale knew what it took to get into shape to play Batman for the first film, but the second movie required something a little different. Our Claudia DeFalco has more. The fight scenes in The Dark Knight are absolutely phenomenal. It's not your typical Taekwondo or karate. It's a groundbreaking style called the Casey Fighting Method. And I went to Orlando, Florida to talk to the guys who started it all. Action is something The Dark Knight has plenty of. But Batman has a new fighting style that is sure to knock your socks off. Rather than doing a big spin kick, which looks flashy but isn't really functional, we wanted something that actually nails people. Stunt coordinator Paul Jennings was on set with Christian Bale as he learned the Casey fighting, or KFM, a method of fighting that, up until recently, was confined to the streets of Spain. Why the Casey method? Well, for us on uh, Batman, it's really down to the fact that we wanted him to look unique. How quickly did Christian Bale pick up the moves? Two walkthroughs of the moves, seriously. Sometimes we do a tape or a rehearsal. The next day he comes in, full speed, flat out. He did every fight in the movie himself. Unlike other martial arts, which are thousands of years old, the KC fighting method was developed by Justo Diego Serrano, a descendant of Spanish gypsies who created the method as a way to survive the tough streets as a child. He and his partner Andy Norman are now bringing KFM to a broader audience, and Hollywood's interested. It's wonderful in that it is based on natural instinct. It is based on pure animal rage and using your adrenaline. Working with Christian was fantastic. And when we were training with him, he would ask extremely intelligent questions. Then we showed him the choreography. We'd maybe work a thing, and we've got 20, 23, 24 moves in it. And he would work through it and pick it up in one, in one moment and made our job really, really easy. The time has come for you to teach me some moves. Yeah. Okay? You want to learn some Who's going to be my victim here? I can show you one moment. With this movement, you can fight forever, forever in the life. So if someone takes my parking spot, yeah. I could show them this move and I'm good. Here's the beginning of Claudia's criminal career. 